Welcome to AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Colin Legier, Senior Development Manager on the AWS Storage Team. Welcome. Thank you. So let's talk about Amazon Glacier. What's it all about? Absolutely. So Amazon Glacier is our latest storage service, and it's essentially designed around uh, archival and backup use cases. So what, what we, when we say archive, what are we thinking about? Uh, with archive, we think about things that are uh, stored for years, uh, very rarely accessed. Uh, quite often, it can be the only copy of it in existence, so it's something you really care about the durability of. Uh, and then it's also it's data that tends to sort of uh, keep its value with age. Now, how does Glacier actually maintain this high level of durability? Uh, similar to S3. So, so we're in multiple facilities, multiple devices. Uh, we have anti-entropy techniques going on that are always sort of looking at data, self-correcting it, doing mm -hmm. that. Now, that sounds really cool, but I have no idea what anti-entropy actually is. Oh, okay, sorry. So, <laughs> uh, anti-entropy, we, we, we basically have to scan uh, looking for problems at, all, uh, at sort of uh, various levels in the system on an ongoing basis. You know, have there, has there been a uh, storage device that's malfunctioning? Uh, you know, any sort of server that's malfunctioning, and if we detect that, actually correcting that and keeping it in sort of a stable okay. operation. And that state. all happens behind the scenes. I don't have to worry about it as a customer. Of Absolutely. That's one of the value propositions. Excellent. If I'm a customer of Glacier, how do I get started? You'd get started by going into the console, uh, setting up a vault, which is sort of the unit of uh, organization within Glacier. Uh, you store archives in Glacier, they're managed in vaults or organized into vaults. And uh, you'd set up some vaults, uh, you can set up some permissions policies against those vaults. And then you have to write some code then to go ahead and begin to use Glacier and upload your archives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I upload my my archives to Glacier. Glacier's going to keep them safe and sound. And then there's a unique retrieval model. Maybe you could tell us a bit more about that. Absolutely. So one of the ways uh, when we're sort of looking at Glacier, we hear all the time from customers, even just existing S3 customers, that are looking ways to uh, to reduce their storage costs for a bunch of use cases. And we, we always are asking them sort of what trade-offs are you willing to make, right? Because you know we try and reduce storage costs no matter what. Uh, so the one that, that looked particularly attractive for us with Glacier was uh, trading off retrieval time. And there's a bunch of things that we can do there to reduce cost if we have a bit of a window in which to do that. So with Glacier, what you do is you, you make a request for an archive, and rather than giving you back a stream of bytes, uh, we essentially give you back a job. And you can then track that job. You can get notifications as to when that job completes. It, it typically takes about three and a half to uh, four and a half hours for a job to complete. Uh, once complete, you can then actually download the output of the job, and that's your original bytes that you stored. Okay. Now, do you anticipate that third-party tools are going to be able to plug into Glacier and do backup and archive and so forth? I think that's going to be the primary way that most people actually interact with the service will be through third-party tools. Uh, so certainly developers can go and write code directly against Glacier for any cold storage use case that they may have. Uh, but what we found when we were talking to most customers would, uh, was that they wanted to actually set up their own indices. Right? They had very specific requirements against that against that and plug those indices together with Glacier to form some application. Okay, well this has been really, really interesting and I, I certainly appreciate your taking the time to come by and, and speak with us. Thanks My so pleasure. much. Thank you. This has been the AWS Report and I'm Jeff Barr.